The escalation of events in Sevastopol, the crown jewel of Crimea, turned into the epicenter of rapid-fire action. Ukraine has confirmed that after an audacious assault on the Russian fleet's headquarters last Friday, 34 Russian officers, including top commander Admiral Viktor Sokolov, were killed and 105 others were injured. After the head of the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, 34 officers were killed, including the commander of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. In escalatory remarks, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky praised the significant decision by the United States to work together on making weapons and defense systems. We have a historical decision by the U.S. to jointly produce weapons and defense systems, including air defense. This is something that was an absolute fantasy until recently, but it will become a reality. We will make it a reality. For its part, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced on Monday that its forces launched intensive strikes on deployment points of what it described as foreign mercenaries and training centers for sabotage groups of Ukrainian army. Last night, Russian forces carried out intensive strikes with long-range, high-precision weapons and drones, striking temporary deployment points for foreign mercenaries and training centers for subversive groups affiliated with the Ukrainian armed forces. All sides were hit as the strikes achieved their goal. In the ongoing battle, the Ukraine is making strategic moves, focusing efforts on Sevastopol's port, aiming to disrupt Russian supply routes. According to observers, this critical part of their plan to challenge one of Russia's main command centers in Crimea, the only gateway to reach the Black Sea warm waters.